Well, hello guys and gals. Hope everyone's doing great. Having fun on their projects. I was going to weld today, but we got some massive windstorm coming through here in the Okanagan Valley, Canada, so there are big trees falling down and everything else. Big storm coming through. You see all the branches back there. So I've been just doing some designing and building of my uh, airbrush uh, easel stand for uh, doing airbrushing work. And just making a little temporary tripod system. Nothing fancy. Just something like that and propping the boards up on each side. Bring it in where I can do it without everything falling down. Too windy out here. Just like that. Nothing fancy. Just about the right height. Just got a mount on the boards here to make it more stable. And I could just set the camera up on it. And I can show more doing my. Camaro work and welding and stuff. I was going to build it out of steel and that with my extra scrap, but scrap metal is a little expensive here. And wood, I've got lots more wood than I have steel. So I figured I'd just fab up something with some wood. Quick hour bang up something. See how it works. Just put a little bit of tar paper on the top and staple there on. And if I gotta raise it at all, I can always put more wood underneath it and prop it up higher. Depending upon how I'm working and what I'm doing on the Camaro and stuff like that. And it's still a work in progress, I guess you might say. I'm a cheap skate. I'd rather build whatever I can than have to buy everything. Especially when you got scrap on hand to build it. We least not want not. And here's the little easel I built for my airbrushing. Nothing fancy. Just a triangle with some bracing on the back and a board holding air up. And a piece of plywood on her. All screwed together. 
And I got a little bench seat that will be right, right about the perfect height for doing my airbrushing instead of buying one. Get creative. Might build some shelving on the bottom here, down here, to hold my paints and stuff like that inside. And I might put some tar paper, like I did my uh, little mini tripod out out there outside. Just tar paper the whole plywood in, staple it on. So I've been doing some masking up on my welding helmet design. Have to wait till payday. I want to get the fine line 3M tape to do more designs on the top and stuff. I'm gonna order a couple rolls, blue and red. And I gotta order some of the mylar so I can do my little templates I made up. A whole bunch of different ones. So I like to wrap them up. Trying to do all my own designs. Save the money. So some questions for you guys at Airbrush. I'm using the Createx Opaque Uh, paints and the transparent Createx. Um, as far as I know, it's water soluble paint. So, do you mix water with it to thin it down, or do you have to get the special uh, reducer or whatever you call it for to thin down the paint and mix up? Then you'd have to wear a respirator, I guess, because if it's a chemical, like it says on the bottle, it, it says reduce. You're supposed to use the 560, 5608 illustration base. Is that a, a chemical that you mix in with the uh, with the paint to thin it and reduce it, or is that just a base coat you're supposed to spray down on it before you paint on it? Like I say, I'm in the learning stages here, so I don't know what I need to order. Any special uh, thinners and reducers or whatever you call them, and clear coats and stuff like that for it. Just trying to figure out what each kind of paints need and how you mix them up and stuff. Um, I know you can get the mixing cups and all of that kind of stuff. That's fine, but I just want to know what you mix the paint with. Because this is water soluble from what I'm understanding. So, any information from you guys would be great. Like I say, it's just the Createx. I only got the basic colors, the six different colors, small kit. But once I know what I'm doing with everything here and that, then I'll order the big color kit and all the mixing cups and all the extra little doodads on the next round. So I just got to get masking my other area on my helmet here, the outline of my design, 
like I did here. It's nothing fancy. Not going to be perfect, that's for sure. So just a little this and that in the other video. So thanks for watching. Hope you hear some comments on how to do this mixing of paint on the airbrushing with the Creotex and stuff. And thanks for watching. You'll have a great day. And I'm going to continue building and designing some of this stuff. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.